Shark, I watched your video, and in any other circumstance I would have found it funny. But sadly, I just felt sorry for you. You used to be this amazing competitor, with such drive and passion, a guy who would never give up fighting. A guy who would strive to be the best at what he did, trained his ass off, flew to Canada, toured America, trained with Lance Storm. And then somewhere along the way, man, some bad shit happened. I know. I'm not gonna put you down, and I'm not gonna badmouth you, and I'm not gonna make out that you are some asshole. Because reality is, Mate, I've been there. I've been exactly where you are. A few years ago, I lost my brother. I lost my relationship. I was waking up with a bottle of Jack Daniels in my hand and I was falling asleep with a bottle of Jack Daniels in my hand. I had so much anger in my heart. So much anger in my soul. And I took it out on everyone around me. I pushed everyone away. Look, man. You can't lay down and let this happen. At the moment, you're getting sucked into the likes of Orlando Jordan, Josh Page and Chris Target and you think they're your friends? You will do whatever it takes to win a title, constantly taking the cheap way out. But when the fame's gone and the money's gone, where are your friends then? You need to pick yourself up off the ground and you need to be that person that we all know you can be. Because if you let anger and hatred rule your heart, you're going to lose every time. Just like you'll end up losing and unleashed. And don't think I take joy in pinning your, pinning your ass to the mat. I don't. But if that's what I've got to do to slap some sense into you, shark, that's what I've got to do.